Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome to part 6 of my short Nintendo DSi uh, shop video series. Previously I went into the DSiWare section and kind of showed how it looked. I um, went into the free, 200, 500, 800 plus, and then the, five, or the, five, the fine titles sections. Today, or in this video, I'm going to be downloading a piece of software. Now what we have to do is we have to go, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into DSiWare Free. And then go over one to the next page, DSi Browser, because it's downloadable. This does not show up in my um, list of um, previously downloaded titles, so I have to go into the free section to re-download it. On the top you can see information about it. On the bottom it has information about it. Download, title, and then software details. DSi browser, I don't really know when that was released. I'll try to find out when it was released and because of that I'll put text right here if I can find out when it was released. Get on the web with ease um, using the Nintendo DSi browser powered by Opera or powered by Opera this simple to use web browser is made specifically for the Nintendo DSi system, providing a seamless and intuitive browsing experience. Here's the pictures. Seamless and intuitive browsing experience that makes the most of the system's touch controls and two screen interface. Check email, get the latest news updates, and more wherever a wireless internet connection is available. Grab your stylus and start surfing. Content available in English, French, and Spanish. Now, ah, oh, that sounds pretty cool. I want to get the DSi browser. Download. Oh, it's loading. And you just tap there, and then it says downloading the software requires zero um, Nintendo DSi points and uses 94 blocks in the system memory. Download the software now, and on the top it has information. This is a download confirmation. It gives our software title that we want to download. Uh, points, our current points is 100, and it will always be 100 until they delete everybody's points. Probably, I don't know. Points to download, zero. Points after download, zero. Blocks, open blocks is 452. Uh, blocks to download is 94. Blocks after downloads is 358. And now I hit... Yes, I want to turn up the volume here though. Now you can probably hear it. I'm going to do yes. Now I'm going to unclip my microphone and put it closer to it.
Now it's going to wrap it up into a present for me. Download successful. Okay. Now that's it. I'm going to clip the microphone back on now. Now, as you can see, well, I mean, you can't see it, but um, I just downloaded the Nintendo DSi web browser. Now, sometimes, for example, with the, um, the Nintendo 3DS transfer tool, there would be updates for stuff. Now, I already updated it a few days ago, but if there were updates, it would say update right in there. It would have update available or something. And it doesn't, ha and it would say update right here. And it would take up zero extra blocks. Oh, I guess I should actually show you this because it will no longer be available on the 3DS. This is no longer available on the 3DS because it's the tool to transfer it. Now, because it's a system tool, you can never remove it once it's installed. See, here's the pictures. I also really miss Nintendo Wi-Fi connection too. I really only played Mario Kart DS online like one time, but I did play Mario Kart Wii a lot online. Or not a lot, but quite a bit, especially battle mode. Two player online battle mode was pretty fun. That's it. Now there's another piece of software that I want to show you. <laughs> called Flipnote Studio. Now there's the icon for it in the um, DSi shop. Pause if you need to read it further. Pictures. Flipnotehatena.com or Hatena.com and Flipnote Hatena. Well, no, Flipnote Hatena is a, another service that got shut down. I don't know, what was it? 2012? 2014? Or something? And I remember, like, just kind of browsing that when I was bored one time. I'm so glad that Flipnote Studio 3D was created for on the 3DS. It's not the same, but 
Oh yeah, the flip note antenna service will end on 531 of 2013, May 31st, 2013. Mm. So that was the other update, probably. So that's it. So that's the DSi shop. I'm going to miss it a lot. Here's the welcome screen button. Let's go back into important info again. Nope, nothing new. Start shopping. To get out of the DSi shop, you can either push the power button on your Nintendo DSi or you can hit the DSi menu button. I'll show you both. By choosing the DSi menu button, it says return to DSi menu. If you hit no, it stays in the DSi shop. But if I choose yes, then it shuts it off or reboots it. Now, I'm going to... Um, Go back in here and then choose to just hit the power button. I need to wait. And then I'll hit the power button. It takes forever to connect. And now, uh, you can do it anywhere, but I'm going to just hit the uh, power button. I'm just going to hit the power button. You can't see it, but uh, actually, I can grab my phone right here. Kind of give it some light. Yep, there we go. And then I can just hit the power button right here. And then it reboots it. And now, as you can see at the bottom, there's a little blue dot. You can either slide it around, or you can just tap right on, or like, or just tap right on it if you can get to it. And then when we hit open, when we hit open, it opens up the present. Nintendo DSi browser, Nintendo. And then this is the web browser for the Nintendo DSi. Now the Nintendo DS had its own web browser as well, but that required um, you to use the Game Boy Advance port and the cartridge slot, the DSi or the DS port on the top. I'm just going to go back to the DSi menu. So, that was the DSi shop channel or the DSi shop. I'm used to the Wii Shop channel. Um, I really hope that there was nothing that anybody else, that, nothing else that anybody needed other than that, because I won't be able to show you what else there is since they're getting rid of it and I'm going to miss this service so much. Um, so goodbye for now.